Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a get ready with me. I talked about it briefly, but I use my newly refreshed everyday makeup bag to get this makeup look. I feel like it's giving a nice like fall natural vibe. I wouldn't call it no makeup makeup. Obviously you can tell I'm wearing makeup, but it's definitely a more natural look. This is something I wear on the regular. This is like my daily makeup look. So yeah, we chat about all sorts of good things too. So if you're interested in seeing this makeup look and chat with me, let's just get into it. All right, let's get into this. First of all, I just wanna let you know, um, if you saw my recent makeup bag refresh, that's what I'm gonna be using. It's so it's not like anything crazy, but I just put some like fall vibe sort of makeup in here. I'm ready for fall. So we're gonna use that today. My Lord, I feel like it's been forever since I just like sat down and chatted with you guys. Um, a lot has happened. I know I talked about it like briefly in a vlog recently, but before we left for Connecticut, which we'll talk about Connecticut in a little bit, we had a huge hailstorm and we had a lot of damage on our roof. Um, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter and the It Cosmetics CC Nude Glow. I'm just gonna put like a pump of the Nude Glow and just like a little bit of the um, e.l.f. and just kind of combine them. Um, like, and when I say we had like a big hailstorm, like we had like ping pong size ball hail. Um, so it's definitely not like the biggest hailstorm we've seen. Well, we've never seen here, but like, it's definitely not the biggest hailstorm that this area has ever seen, but it was still big enough to cause some significant damage to our roof and our fence and stuff that was left outside. So um, we had to get our roof replaced. Luckily insurance covered that because it was quite a bit of money, but um, it's just something that happens here. We ended up actually getting our shingles upgraded to a different like level or whatever. So hopefully if we have another hailstorm, the da there won't be at least hopefully not as much damage. Hopefully none would be the goal, but um, yeah. So we upgraded our shingles. <laughs> um, what else, what else? Um, we got a brand new car, like I said in that vlog as well. Um, we had been looking at a new car for a while and I've always wanted basically my old car, but in the hybrid version. So um, we finally felt good about our financial situation and pulled the trigger and got one. So we have a brand new BMW X5e, which is the hybrid. So it's a plug-in hybrid um, and it's amazing. I feel so lucky <laughs> to have this car. It's such a nice car and it is everything I wanted a car. This is the first time I've ever like built a brand new car. We've had some like fairly new cars, um, not like brand, brand new, but like gently, very gently used cars. This is the Live Tinted Hue Serum Concealer in shade 19. Um, like one of our cars was an old loner car, so it had very low mileage on it. Um, but this is the first time I've ever like went through the process of actually like picking everything out on a car and like ordering it and having it built exactly how I wanted. So that was really exciting. Um, and like I said, I feel very lucky that we were able to do that. So it was really nice and um, yeah, I'm very excited. It's definitely gonna be a car we keep for a very long time. So definitely excited to also have it in a hybrid. Just, I don't go that far <laughs> with my toddler and it's nice to not have to think about gas quite as much, which is nice. So I love it. It's amazing. I'm so, so excited to have it. Um, it'd also be nice cause it's nice and big for when we have the second baby. If you guys don't know already, I am pregnant. Um, when you see this, I think I'll be 13 or 14 weeks pregnant. I can't remember. Um, we've been waiting a while to tell everybody um, because I have struggled with miscarriages in the past. So we didn't want to like tell anybody too soon in case we had another miscarriage, but this one is going great. Everything looks great. We actually had an appointment this morning. I'm gonna use um, the Tarte Sculpt Taped. This is a shade soft bronze. Um, and the baby was moving quite a bit. Um, so very active little one in there, which is on par. David moved a ton 
when he was in my belly. So just on par for my babies apparently. Um, but yeah, it's all very exciting. Everything's going good. I'm definitely glad to be getting out of the first trimester. Definitely a lot of nausea, a lot of tiredness, and it definitely feels harder this time around. I think partly because I also have a toddler to chase around now, whereas the first baby you have, you don't have anything else to worry about. Maybe your job or, you know, whatever else you have going on like in life, but you don't have a whole nother like human to chase around, if that makes sense. It definitely gets to you quicker, I feel like, if that makes sense. I'm also gonna use the Tarte Shape Blush, and this is the shade Cherry. Um, this is very pigmented, so just one little dot will do ya. So um, yeah, very exciting though. Happy to be able to like share that news now and, you know, start getting some stuff together. We don't need a lot, to be honest, so, um, we're pretty much gonna do, we already know, the baby's room kind of almost exactly like David's room, maybe a different like theme. But in terms of like actual furniture, it could be very similar. We love the dresser we got for David. Um, it works really, really well for a baby and like what you need for a baby, if that makes sense. Like it holds <clears throat> the diapers really well. And I got this blush a little bit everywhere. I'm gonna just fix it up a little bit. Um, and all their clothes and bedding and everything wrist really nicely. And we really liked that dresser. So we're gonna get the dresser again. The bookcase we got, we love. So stuff like that is all gonna be similar. I might get like a slightly different rocking chair and a slightly different crib, but otherwise they're gonna be very similar rooms. Um, the only thing I'm like, don't know what we're gonna do about yet is um, a stroller. I want a really good double stroller that we can travel with. I want like, one that folds up easily we can you know well we usually gate check our stroller in the airport but something like that that we can you know easily get through the airport and you know travel with easily I don't want something big and clunky that I can only use some of the time I want one that I can definitely use a lot of the time so if you have any double stroller recommendations let me know definitely would love those um it's a lot of research so just finding the right fit it's i feel like strollers are hard because like unless the one you're looking at is like in store somewhere you can't really like test them out or anything and like see what they're really like you can just have to kind of go off reviews and descriptions so yeah if you have any recommendations please send them my way i that is like the one thing i am at a loss for. Um, that was just the Laura Mercier Ultra Blur Powder. I'm gonna use the NARS Laguna Bronzer next. Um, yeah, we're very excited, all good stuff. Um, definitely excited to have our little family of four. Um, what else? I finally got smart and got like a notebook and I wrote down what I wanna talk about so I don't babble on too much or like I have to try to think of things to talk about. Um, I have, you know, some travel stuff. So you guys would have, I think I talked about again in that vlog recently that we were just in Connecticut for a couple things. We went to a wedding. Um, we went to visit Matt's family. And it was really nice. We went apple picking and stuff. Fall has not quite hit Colorado yet. So it was nice to like get some fall vibes in Connecticut. So that was really fun. Um, I think our next trip is to Florida. We're going out for a couple reasons. Um, mostly, it, they're all to visit family, but um, we're gonna see my dad. We're gonna see Matt's sister. Or it's actually our nephew's birthday while we're down there. So we're going down for his birthday. Um, and it'll just be a nice, like, relaxing trip. We don't have anything, like, crazy planned. Just relaxing and seeing family. Um, Oh, and then we'll probably go to Breckenridge at some point, hopefully. We're trying to pack in some travel before this next baby comes. Um, hopefully we'll get up to Breckenridge. And Matt will definitely like go snowboarding and stuff this winter. But we're hoping to make it up for like a day or two so I can go up to the mountains too. Because I love the mountains in the winter, especially like before Christmas. It just gives you those like 
really cozy Christmas vibes, if that makes sense. So um, we're hoping to like just stay for like a day or two somewhere near Breckenridge. Um, and then we are also thinking, this is like a lot of travel. This is all like, not like super soon, but in the near future. We're hoping this time around, we'll actually get to go on a baby moon. When we had David, um, it was still in the pandemic pretty much. So we couldn't really travel a lot when I was pregnant with David. So we're hoping to like get a little honeymoon in this time or baby moon in this time. We thought that'd be fun. So, um, again, nowhere crazy, just something just to get away even for like a long weekend. Um, we thought that'd be fun. And then the other thing we want to do before this baby comes is go to Disney with David because he will still be under that three age limit, which their kids are free at Disney. They don't have to pay for tickets. Um, if they're under the age of three. So we're hoping to make it to Disney before he turns three one last time. Um, we'll still go like after he turns three, but we're hoping to get, you know, that one last free trip in. Um, I don't think I told you, I used the Mented Blush in Clay Too Much. Whoops. And then this is the Merit Highlighting Balm in Kava. Um, I'm just gonna put something very quickly on my eyes. I probably won't use a lot, but this is the Urban Decay Naked um, Half-Baked Palette. I think I'm literally just gonna put like the matte brown, this, this shade here, buck off, just like kind of all over my eye, to be honest, just to give it a little bit dimension, but nothing crazy. I don't wanna do any shimmers or anything today. We're not, I'm not doing anything crazy. So just to give that a little bit dimension while I'm filming. Um, so yeah, those are kind of like our future travel plans. We're trying to like make sure we have like kind of plan ahead a little bit with the baby coming. Um, so get a few things in before I have to stop traveling and stuff. Cause I feel like it's gonna come quickly, especially cause I'm pregnant a lot over the holidays. I feel like it's gonna happen like quickly and all of a sudden we're gonna be out of time to travel. So um, yeah, hopefully we can get a few things in. I think if we don't get like, the baby moon and I don't think either of us will be like heartbroken but um it would be fun to do like a long weekend just me and Matt before this baby comes so we will see okay I'm just gonna brush through my brows quickly and then use the elf brow wow usually I would get like a wet q-tip and kind of like get the product out from in my eyebrows but I don't have one down here so we're gonna make it work what else? Oh, I've been watching. <laughs> My friend told me recently that she's been loving Only Murders in the Building. And I started it last night. Okay, if you're not watching that, what are you doing? It's so flipping good. I watched like three episodes last night. They're short episodes. They're only like 30 minute episodes. Um, but I am so intrigued already. Like I need to know what is happening. I... I'm obsessed. I can't like, I can't wait till David goes to bed tonight so I can watch more. So flipping good. Um, it's just so funny, but it's also so like intriguing. It's like a murder mystery, obviously, but it's also just, it's like funny too. And like super creative. It's a little bit weird and quirky, but I love it. There's so many good, like random celebrities in it too. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So if you've been like debating starting that, it's totally worth the hype. Definitely, definitely check that out. All right, we're doing good. I have one last thing on my list of like things I want to talk about. Um, and that's two-year-old tantrums. <laughs> I'm going to use the Maybelline Surreal Mascara. Um, my gosh, so David is just over two and a half now. And my Lord, toddler tantrums, those like three major vibes are happening already he is some days he's got an attitude man um and I try to like stay calm through it and know it's just you know he's working through his emotions everything is a big emotion right now for him but man some days it's hard at the end of the day I'm just like I am done please get this baby away from me I can't do it um so if you have any tips for dealing with the teenager toddler tantrum phase again let me know um, he's really not that bad though. I feel like some of his friends and other 
two and a half year olds I see throw a lot bigger, a lot longer, a lot worse tantrums than he does. So I don't want to complain too much because he, he does good. He's a very calm child for the most part. So, but still when those tantrums do hit, man, you know, <sighs> okay. And I'm just going to throw in a little bit of lip gloss and we are out of here. It was good. I'm glad I like finally wrote down um, some of the stuff I want to talk about. I'm just going to use the Clarins lip oil. This is in the shade chocolate. Um, I just feel like every time I film one of these, I feel like forget what I wanted to talk about. So I finally got smart, got a notebook and wrote it down. So I think that helped. Hopefully you guys let me know. All right, that is the whole makeup look. I use just about everything in this makeup bag. There's like a mascara and a eyebrow product that I didn't use, but otherwise that's everything that I put in my refreshed everyday makeup bag, which is really fun. So hopefully you guys enjoyed getting ready with me. I'm so glad I'm able to like sit back down and get ready with you guys again, cause I miss it, you know? it's For me, it's like chatting with some friends. So it's nice to be back in my normal routine and feeling better and being able to do this again. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions for me or anything you want me to talk about next time I sit down to get ready, let me know, leave me a comment. I always love hearing from you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. We would love to have you join our little adventure family here. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. So I'll see you in my next adventure. Bye.